Okay, YouTube, um, this is a real-time situation here. I just want to give you folks a little update. There is a tornado in our area, and it's already it's knocked out the power um, in uh, you know the local area. And you know I'm probably the only house on the on the block with power right now. Just to kind of you know kind of show you what's going on here. Um, if I come in here, there's a you know my house is on certain critical circuits as you as you can see. My garage is good to go, and that little light right there says that comes on automatically when the power is off. However, if you look in my living room here, um, you can see that, you know, I've got, you know, plenty of light. Now, uh, also in this little area here, I got plenty of light. So my system kicked on. Now, to get power to the rest of the house, okay, the automatic transfer switch has kicked on and everything in my critical circuits are being energized. Now, in this little area right here, again, I come in, the first thing I do, I check. Let's take a look and see how much, well, it's drawn about seven amps, which is fine. Now, okay, I've verified everything's good to go. Now, I do have light in the garage and I can actually see what I'm doing in the box. You know, what I've done is I've already taken the liberty of, uh, you know, turning off some of the, uh, turning off all of the critical circuit breakers, uh, or, you know, all of the breakers, and I'm just gonna light it up just so you can see, okay? Now, the next step here is I'm going to actually engage the back, the uh, back feed breaker, which is, you know, that little thing right here, okay? So what I have to do is I have to turn off the main breaker. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but I'm gonna see, see what I can do here. Okay, there you go. Turn off the back, turn off the breaker. Slide this up. Kick that breaker in, okay? So I kick the breaker in and now all I got to do is choose which circuits I want turned on. So I'm just going to go down the list. Everything in red. So I'm clicking everything in red uh, that I want on. See, basically uh, just, just a little, you know, uh, you know, every, all the 110s, that's all I'm, I'm concerned about, just the 110s. Okay, and I clicked on all the 110s. And I, again, I just got this light here just to kind of show you folks, you know, the inside of the breaker, what I, what I do, you know, in the event that I want to power up the entire house. Okay, all right. Now, my light just went off in the garage and that's because I, it's on a motion sensor. So if I can just walk up. You know, <laughs> it comes back on. So, eh, let me just. There we go. Now, I got it on. I had it on a motion sensor. Anyway, this is this is happening real time. No editing or whatever. Okay. So, I turn on everything. I check to see if there's some vampire loads or something that I don't really want on. It's pulling about like, eh, pulling about eh, nine amps. Okay. So, and let's see what else I do. I just walk in and everything's good to go. Okay. All right. Well, you know, and then if I want to turn on the light, there you have it. <laughs> so that's everything. You know, I think because there's a lot of lightning going on and so forth, but uh, that's about it. That's about it. I got power. If I want to watch whatever, check on the weather, weather reports, it's flickering. And I, I think that's because of the lightning that's uh, on the outside. But anyway, all right. Take care, YouTube.